Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be building a survival shelter. I'm going to try to survive this guy. Yeah? Found some wood. Good job. Nice. I'll get the camera. Oh, I'm um, getting the camera. In a snail. Those polies are really rolly. These taste good. To eat it, I dare you. They're packed with protein. I'm just gonna put this right here. And Mitt, get it. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. No, it's falling. Oh yeah. The camera's yours. Have I ever had a handful of rolly polies? No. Oh yeah, we catching dinner. We're gonna be eating good tonight. That's some pretty good roofing right there, so let's get started. Okay, so this took a long time, but the roof is looking pretty nice. Oh, ow. Look at that. That looks survivable. So I'm just gonna keep adding that. If you had enough of it, it'd probably make it rainproof. Perhaps. Perhaps. What?
ja. Okay, the shelters are looking decent. So we're gonna take the phone up, charge it, and then we'll be right back down here in a minute. So I'll see you guys then, goodbye. All right, day two of the survival shelter build, and I'm heading down there right now because I need to get some cedar. All right, well, the trail looks pretty good. And um, now I'm gonna get started on the fire pit. So I'm gonna build real quick. Trix, you like that? You like that, buddy? Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, so I'm going to rake out all these extra leaves so there's nothing flammable in the way. I'm gonna cut down some of that. And then I'm going to start digging so I can have a good little fire hole. So I'm gonna get started on that. All right, so a foolish mistake I made was forget that the ground I live on is really hard, rock hard. So I can't really dig that far. So I think I'm just gonna make a normal fire and just stick with that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get some roofing materials now. All right, we're gonna go to the shelter. He's gonna see what the progress I've done. I just got here. Yeah, he did. Oh, okay, that's cool. You like it? Yeah. So this would be where we build our fire. And yeah, that's that's the shelter. That's good. Thank you. I need to get some twigs out though. Yeah, it's not exactly professional, but hey, I'll survive. Yeah. And bushcraft is not professional. No. <laughs> I think I might have just made a mistake with my thing. I forgot that my sleeping mat is very long. And I'm not sure it'd be able to fit in there, so maybe I could just use it as a pillow or something, but mistakes. That's nice. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get the roofing now. Guys, that actually looks really, really good. I am so proud. This is awesome. I'm gonna have to vlog about that. Uh -huh. um, okay, so we're gonna camp tonight. So that's gonna be fun. Okay, so I am packed. Um, right there is what I will be using to stay the night. This is all my warmth, so it'll be sleeping bag, sleeping mat, uh, you know, long johns, everything. Then in the bag, I have food, cooking supplies. This is gonna be an interesting night. I've never slept in a uh, survival hut before, so I'm gonna go down there and make sure everything's prepared, come back up here and get the camera. So, yeah, should be fun, okay. Okay, guys, we're down here. The fort's all set up, we got everything we need. Got a big heaping pile of wood, we got loot. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get a fire started. I'm gonna teach this boy here how to do it, so that should be fun. Oh yeah. And 
Okay, I got my bed all rolled out. I'm gonna move it real quick. I really am scared this thing's gonna pop, though. I've heard good reviews about it, though. And don't ever trouble yourself with getting a really fancy bed roll. This one was $37 on Amazon, and it's done me pretty well. It's real light, uh, good for backpacking. I just roll it up in my sleeping bag. Boots. I soaked mine in oil before work. I used it last okay. time. What is this stuff? Twine on a sand belt. There we go. Oh, that's the juice right there. You kids playing Mario Smash on your texty phones? I'll go get some uh, dead grass. Do I need to Hurry. Pump? Hurry. It's gonna be heaven now. Oh. Hey, uh, you wanna see my uh, my classic old Boy Scouts knife here? This camera. is going pretty well. Motor. Guys, I'm going, anyway, I'm going to use this stick, go ahead and get started on a hot dog stick, so that should be good. Hey, hey Emmett, look at my tactical spoon. There's oh. a whistle on it. That is a tactical spoon. And it's a Swiss army knife. I'm really proud right now. I mean, I've never made a fire without a fire pit. Man, we bear bears oh. with strains. Like, how do you bear a bear if you are a bear? We bear the burden of the bears. Oh, yes. We bear the burden of bitches. <laughs> that was a spooky show. Oh, this is some nice and tender wood. It's so easy. Pretty good hot dog. Oh, that's hot hot dog. All right, guys. I'm in the fort. It's nice. There's my stuff. I had to stop recording because my phone ran out of storage. This is going to be a good night. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just worried that the fire is going to be a little rogue. Okay. Hope that doesn't happen. Look at that fire. This oh. is the closest thing I could find to twine. Good job, Phil. On my shelter, I completely gave up. And um, I totally regret it because I don't have anywhere to sleep. And... It is currently 10.03. Well, I don't have anywhere to stay, so uh, me and him are about to uh, go out in the woods and try to find some sticks to build a shelter. I did not agree to this. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to frontier camp tonight. What is this man doing? Don't hurt yourself, Elmo. Now, if you knew how to get all those big old fat cookies in your stomach. All right, guys, we're hanging out by the fire. We're in the tent. It's, or not the tent, the shelter. It's really nice. But unfortunately, Luke couldn't build a shelter uh, because it was night and you can't do anything at night. I couldn't find the lobbers. But anyway, we're probably just going to let the fire die down and then uh, we'll see you guys then. So this is neat because I've never actually done this before where I build my own shelter and sleep in it overnight. So this is exciting for me because, you know, I just get to sleep next to the fire, which is going strong. It's awesome. That bean dip smells good. You like bean dip? Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. Look at this hat. Looks funny. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is exciting, and we're just going to do some good old-fashioned frontier camping next to a fire, so that's fun, I guess. And so we're just going to hang out, talk, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Yeah.
Well, it's officially morning, so I went ahead and got out of the shelter and uh, stoked the fire and, you know, got it going. Set up a little wind block because the wind was blowing sparks on Emmett's sleeping bag. But, yeah, this was a nice. And if we had, like, a little good little camp like we do established around here, we didn't have to worry about any wild animals or anything. But, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, I slept pretty well, the sleeping mat did really good, and my uh, 10 degree mummy bag, it also worked very well. It actually kept me a little sweaty, especially in front of the fire, yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cook some bacon in a minute here, so. How'd the shelter perform? It was good. I hit my head on the roof a couple times. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was filming, I was talking and I just heard it. Dunk! <laughs> Emmett, did you like sleeping like completely outside, not having a roof? Yeah, I was being cuckoo cowboy. I mean, honestly, your shelter doesn't really do anything for you besides like keep all your stuff. Like, if it's like high wind conditions, yeah. But like other than that, like it doesn't do very much. But it'd be fun to like go hang out in sometimes. Yeah, but Emmett's the kind of guy who doesn't worry about his stuff and where it is because, it's all over the place. as you can see, there's his lantern over there's his mess kit. Everything, everything. His mess kit over there is still filled with beans. <laughs> this is nasty. <laughs> this is nasty. <laughs> That's gross. Why is my flashlight inside of my freaking sleeping bag? I rest my cage. That's doing good. Look, we I cooked, made a club. We cooked some bacon. Luke's death club. It's good for hitting trees, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're packing up in here. Yeah, I got my sleeping bag, sleeping mat. Mug, still using mug? In here. You if you have a light compact oh. mat just roll it up in your sleeping bag and then you'll be fine come here look who joined us guys oh, it's, set loose. it's the dog he's finding lots of new smells around the campfire like fritos and bean dip but last night was a really good night i slept really well and i fell asleep really quickly which is good because I was worried that I wouldn't be able to fall asleep out here because I'm really used to just having some, like being either high up or having a wall structure. But the camp's pretty cleaned up. We got some rocks around the fire so it's not super road and we'll put it out in a minute here. We got all our stuff packed up. We do have to take our bacon up though and a few other things. But I'm gonna pack up my bag and then we'll probably head out. But Luke's gonna keep working on his shelter so he can have a shelter of his own. But uh, anyway, we'll see you guys. All right, so Luke's working on a shelter. The shelter is pretty much cleaned up. We're gonna put everything away. And this was a lot of fun, but you know, I have school. Thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see more of these videos, I mean, you can subscribe if you want. I'm not forcing you to do anything, but making these bushcraft forts are fun anyway, so I can make uh, videos about that anyhow. But uh, yeah, I'll be making more, more of these videos. So anyway, thank you for watching, goodbye.